Hello there and welcome to this tutorial I'm Morris Dimba. Let's take a quick look on forces and displacement in Tecla Structural Designer from this simple model by setting up and selecting appropriate load case and load combinations we wish to apply through load case drop list at the bottom end here. If you take a look here on this drop down area, if I click on that you can see a number of forces that have defined and willing to narrow down in. So I'll go straight and get started. Now to define the the load cases, I'll I'll just come on the load cases here, and these are the load cases where you can uh, pick on a particular load case you want to narrow down in. So if you click on under uh, uh, if you click this drop uh, this drop down arrow, I can change this impulse load to a different load, maybe snow, wind, temperature, settlement, and maybe slab wet. So I just leave it on impulse. So if I come here also, I can change that to same maybe maybe snow seismic and temperature set, uh, settlement but you can see th these two are grayed off which means these are default settings so i just leave them on that spot so since i already made uh, I, I already made or narrowed down on the forces i want to work with so i'll just come at the bottom end here and, and close this so i'll come at the bottom end here and pick on a particular force i want to narrow down in i'll pick on impost so the moment i click on that you can you'll be able to see some uh, uh, an, an indication of forces on top of our rafter here so what i'm going to do i'm going straight to analyze right here and i'll pick the first option i'll fix i'll i'll, uh, I'll uh, pick on first order linear i'll pick on that and the moment I pick on that, I'll be able to select on, on a particular force I would like to uh, deal with or na narrow down in. I, uh, I want to work with imposed loads because imposed, imposed loads. So as I had selected the, at the bottom end here. So I'll just go ahead and click OK. So the moment I click OK, you can see uh, the results here. And a first order linear, you can see five imposed loads. Uh, all axial force, we have no results. And uh, we have member moment major. We have this information here and beam and beam reactions we have a uh, uh, seven point that now i'll come straight to to support reactions here and i'll pick i'll click on that drop down arrow here and move all the way to total and get total reaction at the bottom end here i can see that if you mouse over that you can see some results at, at, the, at, at the bottom end here and then if you go all the way to the other end so let's uh, go ahead and uh, and a total here and click that drop down arrow and we can pick on a moment on x maybe that and you can see that we can see some results on top here and if you come right there we want to get uh, under shear and moment ma uh, and moment minor and you can select on that so if you go straight to deflection and select on deflection we can see we can see some forces here and try to play around with that and see how this deflects this is how you can do it and uh, let's uh, enable reactions there and maybe in include forces but we are we are clogging everything with numbers let's let's just disable the reactions there and, and leave alone the the deflection so if you come to results let me come to total and try to pick on the total let me try to check that so that is done and if you need more reports about this just come to reports and maybe you can click on show reports but we've not generated anything and this how and this what you'll get so let's switch back to wh where we were on analyze and uh, we were let, let's close this and switch back to where we were and uh, this we can also check on the stripped stripped results which we don't have and uh, also we have a moment major we can play around with this also remember you can animate you can animate this result so just right click right click and come to animate and you can animate this you change you just change uh, frames per second and increase the duration right there 
you increase your scale and click apply and it can animate that now let's come to deflection back here we can let's come back to deflection and this is a brief overview of loading uh, integral structural designer more details i'll be able to uh, bring to you at a later time let me just uh, walk you through this so let's quickly change to first order nonlinear and maybe pick on uh, wind and click ok and uh, let's uh, first of all switch back to model and uh, uh, select uh, analyze static you can see it's un unknown we, uh, because we've, we've not defined our model appropriately so let's switch back where we were so this briefly what i can uh, show you and more details will come and this uh, a very simple thing uh, so 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 if you're new to this the the best approach or uh, to get a simple or a quick interaction technical structural designer uh, once you define your your load cases and load combinations and uh, you, you just come to settings right there note that you come to first load linear and identify a particular load you want to narrow down in and just click ok and maybe uh this in this particular case I, I picked on imposed so you can even change to a different one but it will only recognize the the load that you checked on so that is the result you'll get constantly so thanks a lot for watching this video and let's meet then uh i'm i'm, f I'm looking forward to giving you more advanced tecla structural designer tutorial uh, just keep watching and don't forget to subscribe i'm Morris Dimba. stay safe